Den som har ADHD kan påverka sin situation och man kan börja med den miljö som man bor i. Det verkar som om värsta tänkbara miljö för den med ADHD är vår moderna värld. Modern life has gotten repetitive, too dull or too repetitive, redundant um, and, and as a result mundane or boring. Salif Mahamen studerar hur vår miljö påverkar koncentrationen. We do the same things day in and day out. Often we'll go from a small house to a small office and we do the same things day in and day out, stopping maybe at the at the grocery store and then going home. And those are uh, the things that just don't really do it for people who have ADHD. Han tror att inomhuslivet i stan har för få överraskningar. Anything that's going to happen in indoor environments is going to be caused by you. You have to make that thing happen as opposed to interesting things happening around you. Och Salif Mahamen vet vad han talar om. Han har själv ADHD. It was kind of weird. It was very ironic that I actually study attention and turned out to have ADHD myself. When I'm inside, I feel like a caged animal. I just want to get outside. And when I come outside, I feel much more alive. I think in modern life that's focused on being indoors, we become really out of touch with the environment that we're adapted for. Han tror att han kan påverka sitt mentala fokus genom att byta miljö. It feels a lot better to be outside. There's so many different things going on. I can hear, you know, birds chirping. I can hear small rustling. The wind and the raindrops. It feels a lot more I, I wanted to say natural. It feels more natural for me as a person. This is where I thrive. Enligt Salif Mahamen har det sin förklaring. All of human evolution took place in a natural environment. So our attentional mechanisms, just like the rest of our brains and our bodies, are adapted for that environment. Therefore, it's not surprising then that it's good for everybody's ability to focus attention to be outside, and especially for people with ADHD. Vissa utomhusmiljöer har i ett antal studier visat sig dämpa ADHD-symptom. Dessutom tror Salif Mahamen att den med ADHD är mer i samklang med naturen. Some scientists think that people with ADHD were more explorative and pursuing their thirst for novelty and their curiosities would have pushed further uh, to find resources and things like that during a hunting and gathering lifestyle. So we would have been more the pathfinders. Och det kan ju vara mycket användbart, men samtidigt kan det vara en mycket farlig roll. Rory ska träffa en man som tror att personer med ADHD. Jonathan, hello, nice to meet you. And you, and you, what a wonderful room it really is. Förr kan ha varit en sorts minröjare. I did wonder why hadn't these genes died out. It didn't really make sense. I think we need to have people like this around. Somebody with ADHD is typically best at making mistakes, doing dangerous things, and then all of society around him learns from the cost of those errors. So can you give us some examples of that risk taking? One of the best examples I can think of are sharks. It's a few thousand years ago. I suppose there was a little village here and a boy decides to go swimming in the ocean. It's terribly hot. And a shark comes along and eats him. Okay. Major disaster. Now, that's not just a tragedy for him. It's not just a tragedy for his family. This is major for his village. The news will travel like wildfire. All the parents in that village will be keeping their kids from swimming in the sea. And the information will spread to neighboring villages up and down the coast. Mm -hmm. So this one boy's tragic death has led to major improvement in safety for potentially hundreds of people living along this part of the coast. Now, 
that means that there have to be small proportions of people in any society doing risky things. Mm -hmm. So if you look at a map nowadays on the internet, you can find a worldwide map of all the shark attacks in the last 10 years. None of it's information that's been collected in an organised, pre-planned way. It's been found out by individuals the hard way. That's right, and a disproportionate number of them would have had ADHD. And I think evolution has created a subset, an important subpopulation of human beings that try out risky things for the benefit of everybody else. ADHD var kanske bra för samhället förr i tiden. Men i vår moderna värld är det inte till samma nytta och kan bli ett problem. Att lockas av det lite farliga kan sätta personer med ADHD i klistret och till och med leda till brottslighet. Amy Sweet hoppades en gång få spela landhockey i landslaget. I used to play for Avon County when I was 16 and trained with the West of England squad. Men svår ADHD kom i vägen. Hon började uppträda oförutsägbart. 2013 I decided I would go on graffiti uh, shopping center. I just went down and just was walking around and really bored and decided I was going to put my name on the metal posts. This is where I done the graffiti. I um, used a marker pen. It was just something that I did in a moment. And... Amy Sweet greps, ställde sin förrätta och fick en varning. Och det var inte första gången hon råkade illa ut. This is my folder of letters from the police. This is about when I went to court for the antisocial behavior order. This is the community payback when I had to do community service. This letter is an acceptable behavior contract. Me and a police officer agreed that I would not do certain behaviors in a public place. This one is to say that I had breached the acceptable behavior contract. This one is from the police saying I threw snowballs at a police community support officer. This one is when I was charged when I bit my dad on the thumb, when I was charged with common assault. This one is for my criminal damage when I smashed a window and arsoned when I set fire to some bins. And this one is the community order for one year. Hon följde bara sina impulser. Det vet hennes pappa. At the time I don't think I do worry. But now maybe looking back, yeah. You just used to live in the there and then, didn't you? Yeah. It was she'd do something after she'd be very sorry. Always. It never like I don't care. She was 